Hello friends, welcome to a very, very special edition of um, Crazy Things to Do with Phonographs. So, this one's going to be kind of fast paced because, as you may be able to see, uh, we've got a bunch of little cups of resins and I wanted to show some of the artistic progress in um, making some of the nice records I've been trying to make for you kind folks. So I'm going to make four records, and uh, quickly I'm going to do something a little different on each of them. And um, just so some of you can see the uh, the funny things that happen when mixing resins, that it's not always uh, intuitive, intuitive or obvious what the outcome is going to be. When uh, mixing pigments, uh, these are already uh, mixed uh, for the sake of... Um, uh, contrast uh, dark purple and white and I have uh, four different combinations we're going to do the first of which uh, I like to call splash and dash for those of you familiar with the biofuels industry you'll get a kick out of it where we are literally going to very gently pour the one in with the other And then we're going to very gently pour that into this mold. And we get this very nice natural streaking that occurs. But we don't know what it's going to look like because we only get to see the top. Well, Later, it'll be the bottom. But look at that. Nice circular pattern. Now we're going to seal this one up. Press it down. And into the pressure cooker, that one goes. And the next one. For the next one, we are going to do a 50-50. This, the goal here is to try to get a nice even split and we're going to chase this line. Try to keep that a nice clean break and if we pour consistently and we chase it down, we can keep it pretty close. This table's pretty level. These cups have been measured out pretty well. But again, who knows? Now we try not to disturb these while we move them. Keep moving on, because we don't have a whole lot of time. Okay, the next one is going to be really experimental. Going to try to pour a little bit in there. This guy around the edge, and then pour the rest in the middle. We are now going to take a Teflon coated stir bar from the laboratory, We're going to go out and out and out.
Okay, last but not least, we're going to do similar. But we're going instead of just going straight out, we're going to make some squares. So we're going to go out, back, in, out, back, in, out, in, And now, just to complete the flower look, I'm going to go around the perimeter. Look at the nice effect that makes. Oh, oh, oh. And that one spot must be my wrist because I'm in a hurry because this is going to set any second now. Well, folks, these are going in the pressure cooker and they have to sit overnight so that they are sufficiently strong enough to play under that heavy diamond. So we'll take a look when we unmold in the morning. And magically, moments later, here we are upstairs in my living room and here's the back of all four discs in the order that we made them last night. Uh, well, it's been a while. I think that's the order. But anyway, um, here's the backs that we saw. I'm gonna put the camera in a little mount, and we're gonna flip them all over and get to show you what they look like. So, uh, this nice little swirl. Uh, what did what did it end up looking like? <laughs> You know, we've got this one little spot of white that'll get covered up by the label. Otherwise, we just have a purple disc. Uh, I guess the takeaway from that one is to um, use a lot less purple. The 50-50 split. That one came out quite nice. 50-50 split is pretty clean. You can see a hint of the purple underneath the white, but um, uh, not immediately obvious. It'll look really nice while spinning, too. And here was the one where um, we just went out with the stir bar. And, you know, we've got the circle and these lines. Uh, not bad. Not bad. This one I had quite high hopes for. It has this nice little flower pat pattern. Uh, quite a bit of blending from last night between the purple and the white. Uh, still came out quite lovely. I would have done a, a little more um, spinning around the, uh, the perimeter and that blending where my uh, uh, thumb had slipped a couple times. That looked quite nice, so maybe next time I'll blend that more into the middle of the disc. Um, so thanks for sticking around this far. Uh, let's take a quick listen to these. Of course, um, I only copy the really fun discs, so we'll listen to uh, a couple clips and um, yeah. Just gonna spot play each of these. Fun and laughter, this April's day you. So the warm-up, and I middle raise you. If this naughty confuse your lips, shake your shoulders and twist your hips. Let our lady come set, I want to be playing, playing,
people don't even know the Black Bottom was released on Diamond Disc. But it sure was. Whoa. That off-centered circle is kind of psychedelic, isn't it? And what surprise do we have to close off with? Spoiler alert, spoiler alert I think it's another copy of uh, Black Bottom. I love this one. Thank you. 